Coke Machine for Real Fishing, December 17th, 2020. So we had a really cold night last night and the high today was negative seven. I believe it's going down to negative 18 tonight. And it looks like the ice is continuing on as expected. We're gonna have a little bit of warmer weather over the next couple of days, but I think this crust is our permanent crust as we speak. Now I've got a couple of emails from a couple of people. Let's see what they had to say here. Got one from Nick Day from Rob's Fishing Charters. He says, hey man, after a few of the cold nights we have had this week, we're about six inches just outside the main channel of Calendar Bay. We will be out and set up for our customers for opening weekend for sure. I'm sure lots of you guys are pretty happy to hear about that. He sent me a little picture of him measuring the ice there. That's great. Thanks a lot, Nick. Next we got ZZZ Angler back with another. This guy is keeping me up to date on the South Shore ice action. He says, hey Coke, today's update. Walked out about 100 yards and drilled some holes. About six inches of ice, consistent. Where the ice was bare, there was a good three inches of dark ice beneath three inches of white ice. However, the spots where there was snow, only two to three inches of dark ice with a good three inches of softer white ice or slush on top. Still a bit sketchy. Took some photos looking towards DWP, mouth of Calendar Bay, and towards North Bay. Took all safety precautions. That's what I like to hear, Mark. <laughs> Mark's a guy who's lived in the area, so he knows, knows what he's doing. But, you know, we got to really emphasize safety on this channel because we don't want people to think they can just go strolling on the ice whenever. You got to have the proper gear. You got to go out with a spud, flotation suit, ice spikes, all the stuff. Let people know where you're going. Have a partner. Some people use massive poles and stuff like that. Like, if you don't know what you're doing, don't go on the ice. <laughs> and make sure you read up on ice safety. It's important. But it looks like Mark's being safe and he's keeping an eye on the South Shore for us. I also got a text from Jeff Chalkley from Jeff Chalkley's Sandy Bay Resort. And he sent me a picture from the South Shore Public Access yesterday. Looks like there's some ice with similar style doodads that I had witnessed up here. Okay, I don't want to go for a swim. Well, that was uh, sort of surprising. I'd say there's about three inches of gray ice right close to shore here. There's a few spots where you've got black ice that is about the same depth. I didn't want to go out too far because I do not have my floater suit on. And I was over maybe about a foot of water when I was trying to pop holes there because the water is really low right now. But just beyond the second set of pilings that's piled up there, I was going to take a peek, but I know right where the, all the ice is bunched up, it is very soft, so I don't want to slip in anywhere and get my boots wet, stuff like that. But I guess we're on to the exciting part of the ice reports, where we actually start measuring ice. So the next time I come out here, I'll be bringing out my tape measure, and we'll start drilling some holes and whatnot. So that's great. All right, talk to you guys later.